Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Did you subscribe yet? Maybe? Just this once, please. Please, we talk about magic. What more do you want in life? It's just magic. Just subscribe to the channel if you want to. Okay, but only if you want to, seriously. All right, so today, all right, I'm gonna try not to move. I swear I'm not going to. I have my, my hand planted on something. So, a couple things. A couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, first off being, I don't know if anybody else saw this on Twitter. It seemed like it kind of got glossed over, at least with the people that I follow. Um, but Mark Rosewater was asked some questions on his uh, blog at Tog. Um, and there was one comment in particular. I, I didn't print it out or anything, but I'll give you the gist. Um, the commenter said, or asked him rather, hey, that with all of this focus on Commander, you know, I've essentially noticed that um, it's sort of taken away from standard sets or something, something along those lines. And he asked, you know, with this focus on Commander, how does that work with the R&D and standard? And do you plan to focus on standard um, going forward? And then, and then they had a, a pretty, um, let's just call it what, it what it is. It was a jab. He sent him a little jab at, right at the end of the comment, uh, essentially saying, you know, that the only reason you're focusing on Commander is, is for money, right? He didn't say that in, that in so many words, but that was, that was the reading between the lines. Um, I don't know, maybe that was a little bit of my bias reading into it, but I don't think it was. <laughs> but uh, Mark Rosewater then responded, essentially just disagreeing uh, flat out. He's saying, he said that there's been a big focus in, on uh, standard um, and that they've seen a big presence of, of players move into standard and that the format is being enjoyed by players, um, which I don't know if you've been on social media, that's obviously not the case. People are very unhappy with uh, Karlov Manor. Um, so I don't know how standard's doing great right now when your standard set, the, the newest standard set, isn't doing well. But I don't know. It almost seems like if that set's not doing well, then you pretty much have all the same decks from the previous standard. At least that's how I think about it. Um, you know, I don't play as much as I, as I used to. Uh, there's even videos on this channel of me uh, doing some gameplay videos. But yeah, um, so... He says that they're focusing on standard, and I do believe that going forward. I really do believe they're going to put a focus on standard in the paper side going forward. But I think that's what it comes down to. Is, is, it, is it them focusing on paper magic, or are they focusing on arena magic? Because, well, I mean, they're, bo they're both the same game, but you know what I mean. Um, I mean, let's, let's call it what it is. He, Hasbro and Wizards are enjoying the revenue that they're seeing in MG, MTG Arena. And when he says that Standard's doing well, I believe he's kind of framing it in the context of, of Magic Arena. Maybe he's not, but I would fully believe it if, if it was just Magic Arena. I fully believe that Standard's doing well. Um, I, I think it's just a different... And maybe you could just agree or disagree with me, whatever, throw it in the comments. But... It, it almost feels like like arena versus paper. It's just two different uh, walks of life or communities or however however you uh, want to put it. You know, there's obviously not a secondary market on, on MTG Arena. There is for paper. Um, you have the whole human element of it, obviously, with paper. Um, in Magic Arena, you get to emote at people and there's not even a chat. I'm assuming that's to kind of get out toxicity. But it's just... Two different games. I mean, it's two different games playing the same shell, essentially. Um, yeah. So whether you agree or disagree with that, you can put that below. That's that's between you and uh, you and the big guy. But um, but yeah. So obviously, you all know my my opinion on this. I, I their focus is on commander at, at least what they're presenting now. Like I said, I do think their focus is going to shift more towards standard in future sets. But Hasbro doesn't work that way, where they say one thing one day and it immediately re immediately reflects on that set. It takes a few sets for them to kind of you know get their um, uh, new way going, or I don't know, like a paradigm shift or something. I don't know. But I think I think we will see a, a push to standard. Um, my guess is probably like Bloomboro, 
right? They're kind of hyping it up a lot, and, and it seems like that set is, like, the one to do well? I don't know. Maybe. But we could talk about that in another video. Um, yeah, the, the, other, uh, the other half of it is, I mean, it's plain to see in the collector boxes that uh, Commander is obviously a focus, even in standard sets, because you have the special guest slot, which is obviously not standard legal. At least I don't think there are any standard legal cards. I don't think they've reprinted anything in current standard in the special guest set. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. Um, and then they uh, they have the commander slot. So so literally two of the 15 slots, um, let's call it 14 slots because there's usually like an art card or token. So two of the 14 slots are literally for commander and eternal formats. I mean, sorry. If if this was like, I don't even want to say Modern Masters because Modern Masters is for modern. But if this was like, I don't know, let's say like another Double Masters set. And they had in the collector boxes now a slot for Commander and a, a special guest slot. I don't think I'd mind that nearly as much, um, you know, than, than I mind it when they do it in a standard set. Because that's meant to be drafted. It's meant to be everything like that. But I guess that ultimately leads me down a little bit of a rabbit hole of like what the fuck is a, coll a collector box then you know what i mean it's like is it meant for the standard set is it just supposed to be like top end of everything you could get like i, I don't really get it you know it the and then i i saw a post today which which blew my mind i know we're, we're going all over the place again but it was somebody who posted a picture and it had a bunch of like you know like set icons or logos or whatever you call those um and i was like oh they're they're showing off like sets for the future because there are ones i didn't recognize and then you know i used my eyes and decided to read and they said that was all the set symbols you're going to see in thunder junction there are going to be five five subsets in in thunder junction and that blows my mind it it is yeah, I mean, it, whoa, I, I can't even, I really can't even verbalize it because it just seems so ridiculous. This seems like, I don't want to say they've learned nothing, but, I mean, have they learned nothing? <laughs> like, um, yeah, like, I, I really, I really don't, I really don't understand because, what is Thunder Junction supposed to be? Is Thunder Junction supposed to be a standard set? Is Thunder Junction supposed to be some subset where you can get cool cards? Is it a reprint set? Like, what is Thunder Junction? Like, what what are these, you know, you know, for better or for worse, the collector box is the is the headlining product of of these things. You know, when you when you talk about sealed product for for magic sets, especially modern magic sets, you talk about collector boxes. Like, I don't... Well, I mean, there's no draft anymore, but I don't talk about play boxes. I mean, uh, play boxes are... Yeah, I mean, we're entering a new era with that, but let's even talk, like, set and draft. Like, Zendikar, you were, like, maybe excited about set, and then I kind of just felt like set just became the new draft, and then nobody talked about draft, so nobody talked about set, and then it was all the collector box. So is, is a collector box the the reflection of what we're supposed to see in the set that it's that it is or is it supposed to be something that's supposed to like give something for everybody so so nobody feels you know good about it like i, I really don't understand it collector boxes have have become so muddy it's just it's just this like place where they throw art and and you know just cool stuff and fancy things and, and, you know, something for everybody, which means ultimately it's for almost nobody. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you, you kind of see what see that with, uh, with Karlov now, you know. Let's call it what it is. I mean, I guess, I guess Karlov Manor is just not a successful set. It, it dumped. Um, I have high hopes for it for the future just because I think it, the, the negativity around it is just way more than than how bad it actually is. Because you, I keep seeing cards pop up out of nowhere that are now expensive. Now, now it's that, like, Commander that... I know, Commander, again, classic, 
that um, that wolf that like supports wolves and elves. Now that's like a ten dollar card. So like, how many more cards have to pop above ten dollars for Karlov Manor to not be a meme? And I just don't think we'll ever hit a space like that because it already has a tainted image. So I don't think, in at least in the near future, that it could that it could let go of that stigma. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it's like an Innistrad 2.0 or like a Capenna, but it almost feels like like that's the stigma it's it's getting close to. And I guess we'll see in the next month or so what you know if that's the case or not. Um, it seems like it's flattened out at 155 a box, but who knows? Somebody could dump, cause a whole market shift, and, and it could go even further. It's it's really, it's tough to tell. So, yeah, collector boxes are confusing. Um, it looks like, at least through Mark Rosewater's words, that Watsi's focus is going to be on standard moving forward, but I mean, let's call it let, you know, let's call it duck a duck and a, and a shark a shark or something. I don't know. Their focus is on commander right now. It's it's all over their products. So, I hope it I hope it gets getting better moving forward. If you guys like the video, the uh, the discussion here tonight, I, I actually had a really nice time uh, talking about this kind of stuff. Um, even though it was a little bit more on the negative side, um, I think these kind of talks need to happen for the company to do better moving forward. And, um, and yeah, it's always, it's always good to, uh, look on the other side of things. I know I like to be more on the positive side, but it's good to look at things from both sides of, uh, you know, the picture and, and really, and really try to remove your emotion out of things and just, you know, try to look at things very even, very balanced, and hopefully you'll find the right answer and uh, you'll move down the right path. But! With that, like, dislike, please subscribe if you like the content. If you're here and you're not subscribed, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What, what am I to do? Are you just hate watching me at this point? All right, I'm going to get out of here. See ya!